Can you solve this? I know you can. But can you draw this? Let's try to draw this polynomial. When we put x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 or minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, we get the value of y. When x equal to 0, we get y equal to 1. When x equal to 1, we get y equal to 3. And when x equal to minus 1, we get y equal to minus 1. Now when we join all these points, we get the graph of f of x. But it takes lots of time and we need to find out how the curvature of these curves look like between x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 which will take more time. That's why first we will learn the basic graphs and after that we will learn how to transform them. If the curve is above the tangent at p it is said to be concave upward or convex downward. Mathematically, slope increase as x increase. So second derivative of y is greater than 0. And if the curve is below the tangent at p, it is said to be convex upward or concave downward. Mathematically, slope decrease as x decrease. So, second derivative of y is less than 0. A point at which a curve changes its concavity from upward to downward or vice versa. Then, the point is called point of inflection. Mathematically, second derivative of y equal to 0. A line lies on two sides of curve cannot be tangent. A line meeting the curve only at one point is a tangent to the curve. A line meeting the curve at more than one point is not a tangent to the curve. If the given equation is a polynomial of the nth degree, then we know that it has n roots, which can be found by putting y equal to 0. Now we have to find the points of maximum and minimum value by differentiating the equation. And after that, we have to find the intervals for which our function increase or decrease. And finally, we have to find the points at which our graph is concave upward concave downward or point of inflection. For example, when y equal to x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. Put y equal to 0 and we get x equal to 1, x equal to 2 and x equal to 3. Now differentiate y with respect to x and put it equal to 0 so that we can find the maximum and minimum value. Now find the intervals for which function increase or decrease. When x is greater than 2, then y is concave upward. When x is less than 2, y is concave downward. If slope of f of x changes from positive to negative at c, then f of x has a local maximum value at c. If the slope of the function changes from negative to positive at c, then f of x has a local minimum value at c. If the slope of the function does not change the sign at c, then f of x has no local extreme value at c. Global maxima or minima of f of x in interval ab is basically the greatest or least value of f of x in interval a b. In the next video, we are going to learn about basic graph. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss this beautiful animated course.